Good morning. We're here in uh, Condado in San Juan today, and I'm just going to do a little short and show you a little bit about uh, what Condado is. Condado is really a, um, a, a touristy area. And an upscale neighborhood. And, and, and an upscale neighborhood. There's a lot of high rises here, and uh, there is, there's a beach here, but uh, I'll, I'll talk about the beach when we get to it. Just have to be careful about that beach. A lot of professionals living here, a lot of restaurants and shops. Yeah, a lot of restaurants, shops, and uh, it's a, sort of like a, like a strip, although when we talk about the high rises, there are also some residential areas, you know, and some, some smaller B and B's and stuff in the area. But uh, usually, right right on the ocean or right near the ocean, we got uh, the high rises. So this is uh, really close to the close to the start of Condado. You can see some of the high rises. There's a higher rise, and, uh, and we see some we see some down there. It's the main the main road here is uh, Ashford Avenue, which uh, right at this. This little park is sort of splits into uh, two one-way roads. So we're going to go off, go show you some of the hotels, we'll show you some of the beach, and uh, you know, you'll have a little idea of what uh, what Condado really looks like. Places like this, little guest houses, little little boutique hotels, right here on Ashford, and see over here a little little sort of strip stores lots of outdoor eating lots of variety here's an example of uh, where you know some people we actually uh, people live full time here some nice nice places very nice places and again you know the little lots of shopping stores places to eat you know right at street level and you got and you have places like this, the Marriott. It's like right on, right on the beach. Super nice. The obligatory Starbucks. Tons of places to eat. Tons and tons of places to eat here. It's only a couple blocks from the beach. And I will show you the beach in a few minutes. So you can see, Right here from Ashford, it's one block. You can see, you even see on the left another place to eat. You know, there's another hotel there. Some lots and lots of lots of lots of hotels, lots of of, uh, of housing options. I hear a lot about La Concha in the uh, online groups, and here's La Concha. It's a Renaissance resort. There's the hotel, and this is. Uh, Casino Del Mar, and uh, we're getting down into some of the bigger, fancier places down here. Scooters, they're all around here. A couple different uh, brands. So Serafina. This little open space here. And some, uh, some newer, newer buildings. And places to eat. Here, overlooking. Mar, we're gonna go there. This guy is working out, looking good. Here's the beach looking east. You can see it's a beautiful beach, but the, now one thing to keep in mind, you can see the red flag in the distance. This beach is super dangerous, super dangerous. Just because they have these nice hotels right on it, doesn't mean that, uh, that this place is safe. This is uh, facing the north, so this is the Atlantic Ocean. And particularly right now in the winter, you know, the waves are pretty pretty rough here and uh, we've been here several months and during that several months there have been two people who have drowned you know off of uh, one of the condado beaches so uh, this is not one of the safest uh, swimming beaches around in on the island in fact uh, we were here about 10 years ago and uh, my kid and i were in here uh, up to a less than our less than our knees wave came by and knocked us both down and uh you know, the only thing that I could see my kid was their knee, which I grabbed before they got swept away. But, uh, you know, it's nice. Come look at it. Do some sunbathing, but certainly in the winter, this is not the place to come to swim. There's a sign from one of the hotels there. Extremely dangerous. They don't recommend you swimming. There's no lifeguard on duty. Don't do it. Uh, looking, looking west, we see that the beaches are much more limited here. You can't even really get into 
ocean, but they have a little sand there, some chairs and a sunbathe. Again, really, really nice hotels. The rocky shore here off in the distance is the Green Bay Hilton, which is home of the uh, Pina Colada. But uh, you can just look at these, these waves and uh, now, uh, you're definitely not going to swim in one of the hotels up here. And of course, uh, towards the west, it's starting to get some of your higher end stores for shopping. Here's Cartier. You can see some more as we head on down, down the road here. This is actually where we rented our car from uh, Avis and Budget, right here in Condado. Right across the street from the Condado Vanderbilt. Super nice looking. See across here, there's the Condado Lagoon. Condado Lagoon. Get some uh, kayaks, you know, some kayaks, do some kayak tours. There's actually lots of manatees in there at various times. Last time we were here, we saw a whole slew of them, four or five. So that was pretty special. Getting down here towards the end. And again, Sorry about the wind, you know, another public place. I don't know if there's really, I don't know if there's any sand here, but uh, might be a little bit, but I'll tell you what. You do not, a little bit of sand, you do not get in the water here. Housing options, lodging options as we get to the, <coughs> the end of Condado here. And uh, interesting pinkies. We I just we just ate there for breakfast. Not this one, but the one up the road. This one's not open today. But uh, yeah, we, we just had a great, great breakfast there. But more more housing options. We're getting to the Condado Lagoon, and we get there. I'll talk to you about that, that a little more. The Condado Plaza Hilton. It is, and it actually has a little walkway across the other side. Looks like this guy's been here for a little while, showing his age a little bit. So we're getting to the end. Here is, I would consider, the end of Condado, looking up that way. This little beach area here, probably for the uh, Condado Plaza. We're here again with Jure Bay Hilton, a couple of our casinos over here. On the other side, that sort of begins the, the entryway. You know, the road up into Old San Juan. Okay, and over, over here, and I'll take you over here in just a moment, is the uh, Condado Lagoon. Now here's the Condado Lagoon. Interesting. Never seen anyone swimming in here before. That guy. And like I said, last time we saw some manatees in here. And this is a, they like to hang out here. So it would be a super special if you came here and saw some manatees. And you want to go out on the lagoon, these people here will rent you a kayak, a paddleboard, or a water bicycle. Pretty cool. There's the peninsula, so choose your high end brand. Super nice. High end brand, and you can definitely find it here in Condado. I've seen lots of people. Flights early or late, you can't check in or, can't, or have to check out of the hotel. Here, interestingly, in uh, Condado, is a business um, Hold My Bags, which looks like they'll hold your bags. So, you might want to like, put their, their number and, uh, and their email address here. So, get in that situation, give them a call. Never tried them, but uh, uh, maybe something that works for you. And uh, this is where we're staying this time at the AC Hotels by Marriott. You know, always like you always like the rooms, nice. Got a little uh, pool on top of it, bar on top of it, some dining options. Well, I hope you liked a little tour of Condado. Condado is convenient to the airport, less than 15 minutes. Lots and lots of lodging options, uh, plenty of food, uh, very very touristy, but uh, you know in uh, in in. in, in accessible to many tours because the tours will come and pick you up here. But in my mind, Condado is not uh, Puerto Rico. And uh, if you're considering coming to Puerto Rico, you know, consider um, to stay someplace else uh, because there's so much more to this island than just Condado and the very touristy area. There are beautiful, beautiful beaches on this island and uh, Condado is not one of them. 
Um, so, you know, just consider that if you're planning to come to you know come to Puerto Rico. And uh, until then, adios. People get flights early or late, you can't check in or, can't, or have to check out of the hotel. Here, interestingly, in uh, Condado, there's a business, um, Hold My Bags, which looks like they'll hold your bags. So, you might want to like, put their, their number and uh, their email address here. So, you get in that situation, give them a call. Never tried them, but uh, uh, maybe something that works for you.